Happy New Year, Scorpio, from the Gasmic Tarot. This is your general reading, love, money, career for the period beginning the 4th of January, 2021. Because this is a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you, so you might want to take a look at the forecast for your moon sign and your rising sign. I personally have Scorpio in my rising sign, so I'm very excited to find out what's in store as I looked at my sun sign and my moon sign already. So let's, well, obviously I'm here. All right. So first I wanted to thank everybody for liking and subscribing to my channel so YouTube can find me. Really appreciate that since I'm new to YouTube. Not new to reading. Okay. Speaking of, if you haven't been here before, I channel the, oh my gosh, two fell out. Sorry about that. I channel uh, many messages from the tons of spirits that come into my space. All right. Now, since I've been doing YouTube, I've been getting some other spirits coming in that are some of the past uh, loved ones and spirit guides for some of the folks that are guided to these videos. I find it fascinating because talk about pushy. All right. There's so many pe there's so many spirits in my space at one point. Was it two weeks? One, one of the December readings, one of the, during Leo in December, if you can go check it out, <laughs> somebody turned my television on. That really took me for a loop. I've never had that happen before. That's a very strong energy. Uh, certainly got my attention. Uh, but spirits are pushy. They'll show me stuff They'll uh, that I can't unsee some of it. They curse. They, they, uh, they, uh, they sing. They'll do whatever they need to do in order to get my attention. So just an FYI, uh, if I do have some messages, I will normally just throw that in as I'm doing the reading. Uh, sometimes I get a lot, of, I've, lately I've been getting a lot of past loved ones in. Um, as a matter of fact, I have somebody's past loved one in here, a gentleman. Uh, he's got the most delicious voice I've heard in a long time. And he's singing um, Frank Sinatra. He's singing, uh, uh, so he's singing, um, I did it my way. Of course, I can't do that justice. I mean, just... You know, and then he's like, start spreading the news, I'm leaving today. Something about New York, New York. I'm not sure if he's from New York or from the tri-state area over there, from New England area, but um, he's smiling. Uh, he's a very, very nice spirit, so, uh, like a soft, beautiful love energy vibe to him. Uh, and he just wanted to tell you happy, happy new year. Uh, and he's coming in. Uh, I don't know how long ago he passed. I'm not getting that from him. I don't think he knows. Uh, uh, but he's just a jovial, uh, I wouldn't say he's thin, but you know, but he's not, uh, he's not heavy. He's just a regular medium build kind of guy. Um, he doesn't look too, too tall, but he's not like my height. Like he's not like five foot tall or anything. But he's not a tall guy. Maybe he's like 5'7 to 5'9-ish is what I'm, I kind of see in the image. Uh, and occasionally he would wear a hat of some sort, not a baseball cap. All right. I hope that helps. Anyway, so let's get to it for my Scorpios for the period beginning the 4th of January. Let's find out what we got. All right. All right. So we've got the 6th of of uh, swords and we've got the four of swords oh ace of cups nice okay we've got the three of a uh, two of rods the chariot oh and money we've got the six of coins let's start with those we can always add on based on what spirit is prompting me to do all right so we're going to start with the six of swords there's something about that you're, you're um, let me see if I can phrase this right. 2020, boy, are you leaving it behind. Let's just leave it, let's, let's start with that. Stuff in 2020, you don't want to know anything about. You just don't. Um, and, and you're just going to, you're just going to walk away from that. All right. All right, I got to take this video and, and 
really kind of emphasize for this particular reading for you that you are definitely leaving behind the nonsense, leaving behind the BS in 2021. Okay, you are moving away from all the negativity in 2021. Okay, Spirit is saying, do that now and then take time to rest and reflect on what it is you want for this year and then move forward. We just had the Great Conjunction, December 21st, between, uh, between uh, uh, was it, uh, the two different, uh, and I'm going to forget what it was now. I'm having, a, I'm having a moment. We just had the Great Conjunction. We, have, we moved from a, sorry, an earth sign to an air sign. We haven't had this combination in 800 years, and we've been stuck in this earth sign. You know, how much money do I have? What, how big is my house? How big is my male member? How big is my bank account? You know, what kind of car do I drive? All that emphasis on stuff, on stuff, on stuff. And now we're emphasizing on doing, on community on manifestation. It's, it's, we're, it's, it's in the air. Love is in the air. And you're going to take time this week, if you do your homework, take time this week to find out what your new beginning should be. And boy, will it come to you fast. I mean, it's just going to go and materialize like gang busters. You're just going to be in the mode, in the creative mode. You know, this is about gifts. This is about, look, my cup runneth over. This is about new beginnings, about fertility. Some of you are going to decide to get pregnant or you're getting pregnant or you are pregnant and you're going to be birthing a new baby or birthing a new idea during this period. Your ideas, the creativity, just flowing, the growth, enterprise, love relationships, things are growing. What are you doing, my dears? You are making plans and you're moving forward. You've got the world in your hands. You're going to be forging partnerships, okay? you got the world in your hands. You're looking forward. Maybe that's the crystal ball. You see the future, and the future is bright for you. I hope that makes sense. Now, let's look at the chariot. What is a chariot about? The chariot is about moving forward. Do you get it yet? It's about moving forward, okay? It's about progress and about navigation, okay? It's about travel, um, moving away from the nonsense and into the positive, okay? Uh, you might be traveling more. And well, you're definitely going to be traveling more in 2021 than we were in 2020. I mean, that's a given. But um, you might be improving your home situation, whether it's home improvements, creative projects, uh, taking on renovation, taking on a new home that has to, needs renovation. Uh, your relationships are moving to a more, more stable state. You've got progress and success, okay, in your money sector, in your career, okay. All this door opening, when you move away from that which doesn't serve you anymore, the negativity, the worry, the fear, the despair, the... I can't, whatever. I am not, whatever, or two, I am, I feel, I am, and positives, okay? This is about money coming. Again, I mean, Scorpio, I love Scorpio's readings because they seem to be focused on money. Money coming to you out of the blue from unexpected sources. Uh, genuine support for your endeavors. Some of you are starting that new business. People supporting you, okay? We got the Hierophant. And the Hierophant, um, you just never know what that, you know, and it's about expansion, you know, expanding your ideas, getting, again, the support you need for your endeavors. This is what the Hierophant, it's about leadership, it's about commitment and relationships, expanding the home, expanding the business. Again, positive, positive cards. When you release the Kraken, right? No. When you release the negative and take time to figure out what it is, don't dwell on the, the past failures or what we all have been going through in 2020. Look forward to a bright new future as you move into this beautiful age of the air sign, the Aquarian, okay? It's all about 
light. Lighten up to ascend. Okay? Now, uh, we've got the seven of coins. Seven of coins. Keep focus on what it is that you want. Keep working at it. And you will have the, uh, the, 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 um, the money will come. Okay? The money is coming. But you have to, I mean, you're just saying it, sit there and your ideas have to flourish. You have to tend the garden, okay? And this is about financial foundations, okay? So stop dwelling on the negative that you've had in the recent past. Think about what you want in 2021, and it will start to materialize when you feel it in your heart. How do I know if I'm feeling it in my heart? Well, if you say something, does it feel good or bad? Okay? And if you feel it in your heart, believe me, you'll get a rush. All right? If you're living in negative emotions, energy emotion, you're going to stay in a negative emotional state. If you're feeling worried about money, then you'll be worried about money. If you're feeling in here, okay, let's say, here's an example. Here's an actual practical example. Here I was, I'm over in, uh, this is a long example, okay. Uh, I was in a situation and everything didn't seem to go right. Everything seemed to go wrong. I was on a, I was getting on a plane and they were overbooked, blah, blah, blah. I had to get off the plane. And instead of getting upset as they escorted me off the plane, I didn't act up. I said that, you know, this to the stewardess, I said, the flight attendant, sorry. I said, uh, she goes, I'm really sorry, but, you know, we're going to have to ask you to, to wait out. You know, we've overbooked and it seems that we booked two people in the same seat, blah, blah, blah. And I said, that's okay. It's not your fault. And I touched her arm and I said, I'm sure if there's a seat on this plane, you'll find me one. And now I'm going to go wait outside. So I waited outside. They did not have to, you know, escort me. I wasn't yelling. I wasn't upset. I was compassionate. Well, guess what happened? I sat there in the, in the waiting area. And when things don't seem to go my way or I don't go the way I perceive them, they should go. This is what I said to the universe. I said, guys, cause I called the proverbial them, all my guides, it could be father, son, Holy spirit. I don't care. I say, Hey guys. All right. I'm sure that something amazing will come of this, more amazing than I could possibly imagine. All right? So I sat there, and I just concentrated on that. I didn't get upset. I just said, I'm sure it's going to be amazing. They found me a seat. I didn't look at the boarding pass, and when I got on, they put me in first class on an international flight, which is probably a $10,000 ticket because I had a pod. And I got this $80 bottle of champagne. The story's longer than that, but you get what I'm saying? Never overreact. Don't stay in the negative emotion. Get rid of it. If you can get rid of it, you can open yourself up to deliciousness. Go for it. All right. So what do we have? We had two cards that fell out. Take charge of the situation. This is Moses. Okay? You have the control here. Don't give away your control. Stop watching negative news. Get into a higher vibration. Watch beautiful, delicious cooking shows. Watch this new YouTube guy. He's not new, but he's got, he's so good. He's so funny. He puts the gasm back in cooking. His name is Josh Weissman. I love this guy. Watch him. You'll laugh. You need to laugh more to lighten up. It's time to lighten up, Scorpio. Oh, and set your priorities. This is from King Solomon. It's time to set your priorities on what you want in 2021. Take charge of the situation and for Pete's sake, lighten up, will you? All right, thanks again for liking and subscribing. If you want to claim the video, don't forget to throw a comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed, click the little subscribe button. Really appreciate that so YouTube can find the channel and I can continue to bring you content. Take care and have a delicious week.